it is very important to understand the if statement in PowerShell. Although it looks very simple, it is important to understand some critical rules. So here I have a variable called score with this value. You start off with the word if, and then you define your condition in these parentheses. So here, notice we're not using double equal sign or greater than or equal to sign. Instead, we're using dash GE. The letters GE mean greater than or equal to. So this is different to JavaScript, C sharp, where they use symbols, but it is .NET related syntax. You have to include the dash before these letters. Notice the logical and also has the dash and the lesson or equal to symbol also has a dash. So here we're checking if the score is greater than or equal to 80 and score is less than or equal to 100. Then within these curly braces, you put any code that you want. So if I highlight this and run this code using run selection and you can see the output here, which is it's a grade A. You can enhance the if statement further. So here notice that we've got else if. So this is another condition. So if the first condition is not met, it will try and action this condition. And there is also an else part. If nothing is met above, then it will execute this. Notice the else one doesn't have a condition. So this part is missing from the else. And this else if only have the word else. Otherwise, it's similar to if over here. Again, notice that we're using dash e cube for equals. And we're not using symbols like this to say it's equal because this won't work in PowerShell. So this symbol here must be the letters dash l key for less than 18. So if I highlight this code here and run selection, and you can see here the output that's been printed, which is you are an adult because the age is 20. So the first condition here is not met. This condition equal to 18 has not met. So instead, it has executed this condition here to say you are an adult. So although very simple if statements, it's important to understand the differences in PowerShell as pointed out that you can't use symbols. Instead, you must use these letters and notice the logical operator as well, which is dash and and note the symbols like this. So you cannot use these here in PowerShell. Instead, you must use dash and. So I hope this makes sense and you understand if statements in PowerShell.